So now we're looking to the left and we're looking to the right and we're looking over their shoulders and we're definitely looking behind our shoulders. We're looking everywhere for the next story. Now, I pride myself here at the Lockhart Perspective of making sure that I tell you exactly what I think. And well, today is no different. The last few stories that I have brought to you that have been from the mainstream are a little unique. And they're unique to me because all of the stories that I've been reporting on that are surrounding this particular topic since January, February, I've not known any of the people's names. I've sometimes not even given the, the ethnicity or not even given the gender of the person. And the couple of two or three times that they have given gender, it turns up that it was the opposite of what they printed. So with that in mind, I'd like to say that with a grain of salt, we should take a lot of the information that we're giving. Because in my opinion, it's specifically to invoke fear. And if you have a bevy of fearful people, they tend to dig in their pockets a little bit deeper than others. And by that I mean, you'll go out and you'll shop without any idea of what it is you're supposed to be getting. As soon as you walk through the store, you'll completely forget the things that you had written neatly on that list of things that you had to just add to get you through a month or two. You'll forget and you'll start to shop with reckless abandon. All because somebody told you that somebody was sick. Now, mind you, I'm not saying that there are no ill people. <laughs> Mercy, I'm not saying that. Nor am I saying that no one has passed away because, well, people have passed away. What I'm telling you is to make sure that if you have the spirit of discernment, that you, with that spirit of discernment, weigh every single story that you hear. Again, no matter who shares it. I am going to do the same. Now, I want you guys to think of this. If I were a used car salesman and I had 10 cars on my lot, three of them were unbelievable lemons, but I had to get rid of them because if I didn't, I wouldn't get a bonus. What car do you think I would offer first? And what do you think I'd tell you about it? Think about that. I would tell you all of the attributes. I tell you that it was owned by a little old lady in Pasadena, while the other cars I don't give you that much information about. Hmm. Think about that. Please like, share, and subscribe. This is Felicia Lockhart, and this has been the Lockhart Perspective.